recording. Okay, so <clears throat> first things first, just so you know, um, when I, I'm using Fantasy Battle Map, so if you know what style this is, and I'm nor using the normal landscape, and I'm doing the editing in 3K, it's a new feature that we just added with our recent updates. 3K is, it's beautiful because for some machines, 4K is a little heavy, and you know, everyone loves working with lag, right? Especially when you're making something or painting something and you get this nice long painted streak across the screen, you're like, yeah, that's what I wanted. That's what I needed. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing that you should do after you've opened up, created a new map is you wanna change your background to completely black. And the reason why, I have a couple of reasons why I do that. One, it's there's no artifacts in the background that kind of distract me from the pieces that I'm assembling to make my monster. And two, some stamps, especially in Fantasy Regional HD, have a built-in or baked-in shadow. And baked-in shadows just look like garbage on, on a canvas. So if you have a black background, you won't pick up any of those baked-in shadows in the Fantasy Regional stamps. So if you don't know how to quick fill, it's pretty easy. B key for to go to that brush tool or just click the brush. Click, hold, drag with that rectangle brush shape. Make sure it's set to the right layer. That's gonna be BG, one for FG, two key for BG, press enter, whole screen goes black, okay? Now you won't have to worry about baked in shadows. So if I go into the catalog, let's see here, let's go, don't need custom, and I'll go open up Fancy Regional HD. I'm just gonna show you what I'm talking about. I'm sure most of you already know what I'm talking about, but I wanna give an example. So like you have this tree and you can't see the built-in shadow, right? That's nice. Or if you're trying to make a, let's say we're trying to make a creature or something and you want to use like this as kind of a template to work with, you won't see that ground shadow. That's super nice. If I go back and I decide that you want to use like a white background, you'll see that comes with complications. If I press enter, you'll see the shadows. So black background to hide that. That's the last time that I'll say that. Okay. After that, you want to pick like an idea in your head on what you're trying to create. I'm gonna go check in chat one and see, we've got an Inferno spider, maybe a Wendigo, evil suit of armor, oh, I love that one, evil man-eating undead unicorn. Okay, let's just go in the order that they have been delivered to us. So let's do evil man-eating undead unicorn. Oh, goody, this one's gonna be fun. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so the first thing is, is that depending on what you're making we're making a unicorn right so we have to find a stamp that looks like that has a horse and then try to work with that piece i think i've made a horse monster token before uh, and i think in fantasy regional hd there should be under some humanoids and the problem is is that they are mountain so <clears throat> you have to hide pretty much the people on top of the horse and I think that can be fixed. Whoa, this is loaded very slowly. There we go. Let's just use... Oh, that's a lot more. Let's do... Let's see here. Like an undead war horse. Is that what we're thinking? Ooh. And these stamps are limited in size. You can blow them up beyond the 500 size if you want, but just know that they're going to lose a lot more detail because they're not scaled for that. So if you go above 500% or 500, just know that even if you export an 8K, it's still gonna come out a little weird, okay? It's not, these were not uploaded to the art manager to be any bit bigger than 500%. This is like 800 or so. So just know that. And when you're putting a monster token together, make it as big as possible so that you have room to work with. If you start making a token that's really small, like this big, and you start putting stuff on it, you have less room to work with. And it's just, it's so tiny. I don't recommend that. When you make a monster token, make it big, make it take up the whole screen. And from there, you can start removing things. So the question here is how are we gonna remove this man from this horse and then make this horse look undead? And that's the fun part. And my suggestion would be the use of clipping masks. If you don't know what a clipping mask is, it's easy to figure out if you go to the um, stamp tool, that's the O key, that's going to be an object. Open up the catalog with the F key or click that open catalog and then go over to parchment world. Give the, a second for it to load up. 
And I think we are going to have official uh, clipping mask stamps so that you won't have to, oh, uh, well, here they are right here, official clipping mask stamps. Uh, these are still <clears throat> private stamps right now and are an EA, but they're awesome and they're going to work great. <clears throat> so for those of you who don't have EA access, the way to go about it is to open up the first row of icons like this, and you'll notice that you'll see kind of a green border around it. That's because on the FG layer, that is anything made with the add mode of the mask tool, has that texture on it. So let me give an example. If I go to the add mode and add some land, because this is the BG, you'll see that the texture of the FG is picked up by the clipping mask. So let's just get rid of this. Whoa, super laggy. Okay. And the way that you can use clipping masks is don't, once you click it, don't turn off the clipping mask, otherwise it loses that. Okay. Go to advanced settings, and then you're going to want to, well, not go to the advanced settings, sorry. You actually just want to remove the object itself, which is just the brown square here. If you take the opacity to zero, you're removing the brown color from it and just keeping the clipping mask. The next step is to paint your whole FG black as well at this point because you want it to match the BG layer. So if you just switch to FG, we still have that rectangular shape. Press apply or enter to the FG. And what you'll notice is that clipping mask will hide anything, okay? So we're gonna use that to just start hiding the kind of these main pieces here. And you, there's different shapes as well, circular shapes. So that way, if you want to put it down, it works well with those curves. I'm just going to copy and paste a bunch of these. This is kind of a sneaky way of doing this. I wish there was another way, but we just don't have those kind of stamps. So you have to just work with it and kind of hide things. Let's see, just keep putting a bunch of them down. We're hiding all this stuff. Also going to hide this and there are other ways we're going to also hide this stuff by putting on maybe a corpse on top of it maybe some weird fungus growing on it it's undead you would kind of expect it to be kind of gross and nasty maybe put a body hanging out of its mouth or something uh, whatever you guys think let me know if you got suggestions <laughs> fill me in i'll take it okay so this part looks done like we've hidden everything that we can uh, that's outside of the horse's body itself. Once you've done all that, group it, and that way you don't have to accidentally select uh, all the clipping masks. And as always, after you make a group, name it. So I'm just gonna call this horse, because that's exactly what it is, in all caps for some reason or another. Oh yeah, I, I can't wait for the evil suit of art. Awesome. Okay, just read the chat. Okay, let's take a look. Um, This looks okay, let me just check. Right, okay, so now you have that. Next part is to kind of change the color of the horse. And we can do that by just selecting the cavalry and then going over to hue and maybe go with something. It could be green, could be purple. Anyone have a, col a color suggestion they recommend? Like I, green might work, purple might work. There's a lot of different variations of undead. Let me know in chat what color that you like. Please let me know. What do you think? Green, purple, blue? Any suggestions? Anybody? Going once, going twice. Oh, we're gonna make it. I think purple will do. I kind of like that. Gonna, ooh, that's pretty color too, but where's that purple at? Yeah, there we go. I dig that. Yeah, purple's good, awesome. Okay, so now that we've kind of picked the color, oopsie, I forgot to unselect the whole group. There we go. So you have your horse. Oopsie, <laughs> shoot, I undoed the whole thing, that's silly. <laughs> I'm gonna boost the saturation and drop the U to purple, there we go, okay, unselect. And then the next step is, I'm probably gonna lock this for now. So, and that just allows me to place other stamps now without accidentally selecting the horse. That's why I'm gonna do that. So now <clears throat> we have to like put things on the horse to both hide this leg and to make it look undead. And there's a lot of options to go with that. So I was thinking that in Fantasy Battle Maps 2.0, this pack has a lot of really cool bones. Um, I think it also has like tusks 
and all kinds of other weird stuff that we could use. I think also there's some like food that's kind of rotted and maybe we could kind of use like this rotted food right here. Actually, I believe I have to put your passive up here like this. So you can put like in some rotted food or something. Let's flip and rotate this like this, this big section right here. Put it down like that. Okay, and that already hides quite a bit. It already adds kind of like the rib cage that you're looking for. We might want to consider turning off the uh, the object so that way it fits in better. And we could even consider changing the blend mode so that it blends better with it. So we'll go through the various blend modes and see if the blend modes look good. Ooh, that's trippy. Oh yeah, and if you see something, let me know. I will go back to that. We might not even use a blend mode because we are trying to hide the leg and the blend mode will probably pick up the leg, but it doesn't hurt to go through. Make your life easier instead of having to add 20 million stamps to hide something. Use like, maybe just using one blend mode to change how it interacts is less work, you know? Don't work too hard. Okay, all right. You know, I think normal is what it's gonna end up being. I think that's the best one. Normal, that works for me. Okay, let me check. Yep, purple's good, okay. So there's that, and remember this is locked, so if you try to move this, the whole thing's not gonna move. So put that there, you have some of that. The next step is to add in more pieces that make it look undead. So let's see here, oops, not that one. Let's see if there's any other of that rotted food that might work. I like this rib cage right here on this thing. That's cool. And then there's this kind of steak looking thing. This might look good as something like a cheekbone or something, or maybe on the side of the neck. It's got a nice curve to it. Maybe we can put it like this. Okay, I think in like that should look good. And we wanna turn off that shadow because we want it to look like it's going inward and not floating outward. That's why I'm turning off that shadow. So no shadow, that fits in pretty good. And we might even wanna consider making the horse green to see if it'll match better. So I'll just double check just to make sure. See how the horse looks green. I'm not so sure. I kind of liked it purple. I think I might leave it leave it at purple. I liked that the way it was. Let's just undo and it should go back to purple. Okay. And we're also going to want to change the brightness of this. If this is inside of the body, then you would expect it to be a bit darker and not brighter. So I'm going to drop the brightness down so that it goes in a little bit more like this. And with this one, I might even change some of the contrast just a bit. Okay, so we have some element that makes it look undead. This might be too big. Let me bring it down a little bit more. That looks good. People have suggestions, let me know. I will take them. I was thinking, you said a unicorn, right, Lily Rose, I think? So we want to put some kind of like cone on its head. I think a tusk would look good for that. Oopsie. My computer is really slow, laggy in 3K and recording. So you just look up Tusk. It should be an orc stamp. We just scale it down to where we want it, put it on top, and maybe do something fun with it, have like a body impaled through it. And you can make it outrageous and ridiculous as well. That's fine. Like the more outrageous actually makes it more interesting. <laughs> and I think we'll drop the brightness down. It seems super bright compared to the whole thing. So far, so good. We have the unicorn part. We have this part and maybe some more tusks like coming out to make it look like ribs or something have opened up or something. I'm not sure. Let's something like maybe have one here like this. Another one like that. And then maybe just one more kind of like this. There we go. Yeah, that looks okay. Let's change it to maybe fit better with the green by changing it to a greenish color. Let's see if I can find a green. Yeah, that looks okay. And we'll drop the saturation down and drop the brightness down. And I think these should all have like an object shadow because they are hanging. They are coming out of the body itself. So some kind of shadow will give it that sense of depth. So I'll drop the blur down and set this to zero, zero, both the vertical and horizontal offsets. 
drop it down like this so that way it has that feeling of just hanging and we'll maybe increase the brightness or not the brightness the uh, change the uh, opacity of these tusks so they're sticking out more yeah it's looking good so far any suggestions hell yes nasty undead uniform <laughs> the more horrific the better oh yeah we're gonna be putting blood and we got to put in some bones and bodies and of course I'm gonna probably use um, the path tool I think it'd be cool to have a bunch of like skulls hanging from the front of it like kind of like these are the trophies of the champions that they've taken out <laughs> and we'll get to that too I think this looks good so far. I can still see like this thing right here where the hand and the spear is. The spear is hanging out here and there's also a little bit of the foot left or the foot in the stirrup. So we want to hide that stirrup where the foot the stirrup is and the hand. I'm going to quickly save real quick. We're going to call it monster tokens. All in caps. Why is my caps locks on? Because it's just important, I guess. Super duper important. Oh, I lost Callum. Oh, that's sad. Okay. All right. I am pretty satisfied with this so far. I think we also should add, like, some unnatural looking, like, goo or something gross, blood. <clears throat> Maybe put some spikes coming out of that out of that breastplate that's there for the uh, horse's chest. That would be kind of nice. So let's go with, I think I remember seeing in... A dungeon some weird sewer stuff let me just because the catalog is just running so slow I'm just gonna specifically look for the pack that I want so you just click this to turn them all on and off click sewers and I think I saw some nasty yeah this stuff right here like the sewer plants like this is like this weird growth like kind of fungus like maybe it's popping out of its eye or something like if it's undead you got you know maybe it's uh, the last of us right it's like, ooh, it's a fungus coming out of their face. Their face is a fungus. Ugh. Okay, go to zero. And we want this to also have a shadow because it's sticking out. So I'll bring it to 3.1, drop that shadow a little bit. Increase that and move it a little bit to the side. So there's some shadow there. Maybe even darker than that. Full, yeah, let's do that. And then maybe even drop saturation and the brightness just a bit. Let's keep the saturation up. Maybe a little bit more would be better. Yeah. Some fungus growing out of its eyeball. Yuck. Maybe put a fungus in it up his nose. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Sewer roots. Oh, yeah. Intestines. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, good one, Beatrix. Heck yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Ooh, gross. Like, have, like, their guts just, like, hanging out and stuff. Ew. Ew. Oh, hey, you know what's also really good for guts? I think in the market pack, there are these like linked sausages. Works perfect. I mean, beautiful for intestines. So let's maybe look at that. Turn that off. Let's put that for there for now. Looks like it's underneath, uh, underneath the horse. So I think it should be darker. And we'll also use the path tool to make this section of the horse, the foot, the back uh, right foot, the hind leg, the right hind leg, and probably the front leg, and we'll use the path tool to make those a little bit darker to make it look like um, there's more shadowing there. So we'll add that first. Let's go to the market pack. I think it's in here, market, and there should be some like, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. This is the stuff right here. Yuck. <laughs> Let's put those wieners on there. All right. Yeah, this is gonna be gross. Put in a couple, and obviously change the color of them too. Something, I don't know, like a green or something. I think purple might look cool. Drop the saturation, get rid of that object shadow. And I don't know, green might work better, I don't know. Let's take a look, this one too. Let's boost this one up and make it kind of a green color. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oh, I got some green there. Ooh, yeah, gross. <laughs> I think also there is something, there's some brain coral that might look good as well. I think it's underwater, let me check. 
Is there some brain coral? Yeah, this stuff right here. Yeah, yeah. This might work too, right? Wanna just give it a shot. That would be really cool if I could get the hole underneath of it like that. That'd be cool. Let me try that. Go underneath like this. Oh, that's right. The um, I forgot all about the clipping mask. So there is that kind of problem. Clipping mask can pose a bit of a problem. Yikes. Oopsie. Okay, let's put this in here. And I think I'm going to turn off shadow, change it to luminosity blend mode. There we go. And also... It needs to be way darker. There we go. Let's put this in some place that will... Yeah, that looks good right there. Copy, paste. And then I'm going to change the transform. So transform like this. Let's rotate it. Put it in like this. Okay. All right. That's not 100% what I like, but there's a lot of different things that we can try. Oh, let's see here. I also wanted to put in, we can always come back to that too. I think grapes could work for intestines and a couple of other stuff. If people have suggestions, let me know. Oh, add some roaches. Like the roaches like come, oh, hey, what about like there's a hole or something in its body and then the roach is coming, climbing out of it like a blood trail behind it. Ooh, that's so gross. I like that. Let's, let's do a, a blood trail of a roach. Mwah, yeah, nasty. So if we're going to do like a hole that I recommend using, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you never know what you're going to get in one of my streams. <laughs> I know, I, it's, I'm despicable. <laughs> All right, so uh, chasms. I think a chasm might look good. And we can like pick a spot, like maybe out of its throat. Like yeah, every time I see like a horror movie where there's like a throat, there's like something, has something to do with the throat. I always get like, eh, grossed out. So I might as well do that here right now. <laughs> Just do something that I utterly hate. I'm gonna take a chasm. I'm gonna put it up against the horse and then use that luminosity blend mode so that it blends in with that color, right? So you immediately have that. And then if it's not enough, the way you can do it is just change that brightness. You already see a highlight around the edge of the crack or the chasm, the chasm. Okay, and you want to just drop that brightness so that it blends in better. So just keep going. Now it looks a little bit better. And we can even add in a second one to make it look like it was torn open. Like this. Say, ooh, eh. Oh, and you'll have to do that same thing. You'll have to change that blend mode, luminosity. Okay, I think I'm cool with that. Looks okay. And then let's put in some blood. Oh, yeah. We're getting into the best part. For those of you faint of heart, okay. Quick way to find things, search all styles. And just what it's gonna do is it's gonna load all the art, so give it a minute, and then go into your search field and type in blood. Because blood for the blood gods. Okay. Skulls for the skulls throne! <laughs> Did someone jump up? <laughs> <laughs> let's add some blood splatter oh yeah Ugh. there we go that's what I'm talking about and then even add some more I think on here as well to kind of blend in the stamps I think so maybe put one right here and then let's put a bigger one right here like this okay cool I want to make sure that it's covering it's on top of the tusks on top of the um yucky rotted steak that doesn't look delicious at all and then make sure it just could cover everything and don't worry if it goes outside like if it goes over a little bit because it's all set to black so you won't be able to see that most likely and then i'm also going to put blood all over here and have it like this so it looks like it dripped down like this then we're going to have like a roach coming out that's going to be fun yikes and i think with this one I'll be doing extra things with this. Let me change over to blend mode luminosity real quick and just kind of see how that looks. Kind of goes against the green that's already there, so maybe not do that. Don't cheat. Okay. Ooh, I'm debating if I want it to come out of the eyeball. Ooh, that'd be even more disgusting. I don't know. I'll make it come out of the throat. And I'll actually drop the 
opacity of this because we want to put emphasis on the cockroach's blood trail. <laughs> so <laughs> let's drop the opacity of this one and then have the blood trail coming out of the throat <clears throat> uh, <clears> throat> uh, be more defined, okay? <laughs> I know you guys are like, I hope none of you are eating anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's type in roach we'll look one up let's pick one this is totally off topic but i love the witcher's uh horse horses he always calls them roach i, I love that that's so funny <laughs> I don't know if there's any witcher fans i know one of you is cheryl i know you are okay so there's the cockroach and let's have him go down let's maybe have him go down like this and I think there are some blood. Uh, there's more like dragging. What I want is kind of more like a trail. Let me go with another blood type. I think I saw this one and it has kind of a bit of a trail attached to it like this. So maybe this one will work. We'll flip it, go like this. And I'm gonna put the roach on, let's say on top of it. This actually, let's put it below, and we'll change the blend mode of the uh, of the blood. That way, it will also be on the cockroach like that. See, okay, not that one. Nope. Nope. Ew, ew, that's so gross. This might work. Yeah, that might work. Let's do that. Okay. This is a very angry, a very aggro. Horse, for obvious reasons, there's cockroaches coming out of its gullet, so that's pretty gross. Okay, we're also going to look up skulls for the skull god. Okay, and I, th I know, I because I'm just being lazy. It's a naughty naughty on my part. Okay, I think it's under orcs is where they have the stringed. Oopsie, that's Fantasy Regional HD. Well, that would explain why I'm not finding them there. <laughs> Which one is the real monster? Uh, ooh, that, that's debatable. I'm probably the real monster. But hey, I didn't suggest it. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, work. There we go. All right, and we're just gonna have some skulls hanging. At least I'm gonna try to do it. I mean, these are some really small heads. Like this is a absolutely massive horse. Ooh, uh, break the brightness down. Let's see, I'll put another one across, maybe like this. All right. And then I think I mentioned I wanted to put some spikes and bodies on the front, so uh, could use these ones or use those spikes that are in the dungeon set, I think. Let me click it real quick and find out. Should be under spike. How, how much time do I? Oh my gosh, this is taking 30 minutes just for this one. I better speed this up. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to put a bunch of spikes on the front of this, whatever this is. It's not a breastplate. I'm not sure what kind of armor that is. Anyone in here like military history know the name of this piece? Yeah, it does look like chainmail with the, the way the highlights are. It looks like they were trying to highlight that chainmail look. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot of this. And I absolutely love learning about military history. It's also depressing to read about. <laughs> Okay, maybe even petrol. Okay, cool. Yes, I love learning. It's kind of like a dress, a chainmail dress they wear in front of their the front of their body to protect themselves. That is so cool. <laughs> love it. Okay. Bring the brightness down just a hair. And then I think I'll put some corpses on. I definitely want to put some corpses on the top because I think that would be kind of cool. Like maybe this was their previous rider and maybe the rider melded with the horse or something. 
It's an undead horse. Might as well have an undead rider on it, right? <laughs> okay, one sec. That is going to be a rough ride. Okay, corpse. I think there should be. There's like some. There's a little variety of corpses to work from. Um, oh, you know what? The ones from. Uh, yeah, this guy will work. Now, the fun part with this one is, is that he has to be... Oh, shoot. How do I... You know what? Actually, let's do a skeleton instead. I like that idea better. Like, they're long dead. So, they're, they're just there. They're just there for the ride, hanging out. Like, ooh, this, this skeletal bone piece right here is, is kind of fun. I'm kind of liking that. That's interesting. You could put them like right here somewhere. Let me see right here. Oh, there's so many options. What do you do? Let me try another skeleton one. This one maybe. Ooh, all right. That is kind of cool. I kind of dig that one. This is the fun part though, where it's like you have to make sure that, like this is completely top down. So if I have it like this, then the skull is just kind of floating there. <laughs> you don't really want the skull floating there. That's not gonna work. Okay, this has a little bit more. Maybe I can fit one in like this. Ooh, and I gotta make sure to wrap this up soon. Okay, yeah, I'm okay with that. That looks good. And I'm going to obviously drop the brightness a little bit. Okay, the skull on top of there. All right, and I still see a piece right here of the hand, and we want to hide that. So there's we gotta add in one more thing. Maybe uh, just a random like tusk just hanging out of the body or something would be kind of interesting. Not sure. Let's try it. Let's switch this one. Let me think here. Ooh. I think maybe just coming out of the shoulder plate, like where the shoulder is right here, just popping out might be kind of interesting. It kind of hides the skull and that's, that's okay with me. I don't mind. Change the brightness. And then the last part I'm going to do is, or not last, but a couple more parts is add in some Maybe some natural elements like some grass or something or a reed, something like this to kind of, or maybe some of these, I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to decide where you want to go with this. I've already used this, this kind of interesting sewer plant, so I might as well use it for other, one, other things. I can put it on top of here and try to hide a lot of stuff. Let's put one right here. And I'm going to put some down here, and I'm also going to change the brightness on all of this stuff, as well as object shadow, and then we'll add that last bit, and then we're going to put it all together, and then give it a name. And if you got a good name, let me know. Okay, this should be darker. It's a little bit further down. Okay, that works. We'll make this one just a tad bit brighter. There we go. Okay, so you have all this stuff. Let's undo, unlock this. Okay, now we have it all together. Okay, and then I'm also going to take this is there's always this fun trick that I love to do, and that is to use a cloud, mist, anything like that. So if I take mist, oops, it should be, uh oh, it's not in there. That's weird. Hmm. Regional HD. I know for sure that it's there. That's weird. Hmm. Uh, looks like I have to uh, save and refresh the page. But let me just do that. Probably just old data. Call it Mati, the lovely front unicorn. <laughs> oh no, please don't make me that thing. <laughs> I don't want to be that. Yuck. I'll just give it a minute for it to pop up. Uh oh, what's going on here? Okay, yikes. Give me a second here to kind of open back up. Wow. Sorry about the wait. Moss eyed zombie horse. <laughs> oh, these names are great. Okay, let's edit this, open it back up. Sorry about the wait. And we should move on to the next one. Let me just quickly put down this mist to what we're going to do is going to add a little bit more artifacts blend the more of the art together, and then 
um, <clears throat> make it look like there's a filter on top of it without using a filter. So, so here we are, we got this. We can go back into the catalog. And this time we should be able to find what we're looking for. I think it was just old data. Go into Fantasy Regional HD or click all styles and just type in mist. And I should be able to find it like this. So type in mist. Make sure it's big. Make sure it covers the entire horse and it's on layer five, positive five, so that it covers up the whole horse, okay? Make it big like this, the whole thing. Let's make it even bigger. Okay, it should cover up most of the horse. After that, go to advanced settings. Take your object shadow, click green or purple or whatever color you wanna use, right? So you have that, there's a the color. Go to your blend modes and just go through your various blend modes. I personally like color burn. I think that's kind of nice. It adds in kind of the green, but we can go through other ones as well. Lily, you made the suggestion. So if you're still here, you can decide on the blend mode that you want to use. Let me know. Whoa, trip. Whatever you do, don't use a blend mode that's going <laughs> to do show you the actual thing. You just want it to interact with the whole horse. Saturation, this is that hue. It added in kind of a green feel to it. This one just made it more saturated. Here's green, so now it's just all green. I actually kind of like that one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you liked color burn? How do you feel about this one, Lily? Or do you prefer color burn? Color? What about? I thought hue was good. Okay. This looks great. Okay. We'll just leave it here. Now that you've done that, um, you can also, if we want, group it and then put just some blood on it because we lost some of that red. So let's try to get some of that red back by just putting a big blotch on here like this because we don't want to lose any of that red. So you put that on top and we're just going to change the blend mode so that you have some red in with it because I think it's all green is a little bit too much. I think adding a little bit of red will, um, adding a two tonal color scheme will be better than just using one. Let's put one in the back right here like this Oops, and I think you gotta change that blend mode again. I've gotta to remember to change the blend modes prior. Okay, and yeah, I like this because this also kind of makes it look like there's some depth, like there's a crevice there. So I kind of like that one. You might even wanna consider strategically changing this one to where it also is like some kind of crevice or something. Let's take a look. I think that looks good. Okay, I think that's cool. Let's just group it all. And I believe the name was, what was the name? The hill, the her, the hooves are still purple. Yeah, heck yeah. I love that the hooves are still purple. That's, that's awesome. Okay. And the name was, it's not Maddie. I'm not calling it Nat, Maddie. You want to call it Natty? Like it's nasty. We can call it that. That's cool with me. It's definitely Natty. Blech, nasty. Natty the Nasty Unicorn, let's do it. <laughs> we'll call it Natty, it's in all caps again because I just like all caps, I guess. Okay, and then you'll just scale it back down, put it in the corner like this, and then you have one, one token. And we're gonna make probably, well, where am I at? Uh, 1040, I could probably make two or three more. So for right now, I'll just put this in a corner because I'm gonna be uh, working on another one and just so I don't accidentally select it just lock it immediately so that way you still have a free canvas I'm just gonna quickly save well, thank you I'm glad that you approve of my utterly disgusting looking unicorn <laughs> and probably could have added a lot more to it but I didn't want to go on too long on one monster token so let's just do another one let me see let me check the chat so the next one is where are we at yeah, the Witcher is awesome, heck yeah. Good call. Okay, so we've got maybe a Wendigo? Okay, ooh, a Wendigo. Hmm, can you send me a, a uh, reference image 
of that and I'll go over that and we can try to figure out how we're going to make one. I think a Wendigo is like a a snowy version of Bigfoot, right? Or uh, Sasquatch. Do I understand that correctly? Please, please. No? Okay. Inform me, inform me, enlighten me. A swamp? A swamp. Yeah, I'm seeing them, and man, they look really mean. It's like a like a mix between like some kind of elk, like an, a large elk head, and then like a humanoid body. Oh wow, that's super creepy. Oh uh, well, I'm well. I mean, you've immediately lost points. How dare you and misinform me? This is disinformation. <laughs> That's minus one point to you, Dread. One demerit, sir. No, it's all right. No one's judging you for it. That's why I'm glad that people here know this stuff because I'm learning. So I, I don't, I don't know very much about a Wenigo. So it's nice to know. So a Wenigo. Oh boy, this is going to be fun to make. I, I don't know of any kind of like reindeer heads that we have besides maybe from the holiday pack that we released let me check and i don't even think the holiday special is even available like he... the callum stamp Ooh, that's a count M mountain heads oh yeah but see that it's perfect then it's perfectly top down though so i have to figure a way to make that work and i don't yeah I'll, i i don't want to use this stamp because then people won't be able to clone the map because i think this these stamps are no longer available because they're holiday or whatever so i don't we don't want to use that so let me look at that wall mounted ones i think that's in fantasy battle maps under the gothic horror pack right show i think so let's check gothic horror pretty sure that's where i saw them Oh no, wait, it's on a ship. No, I don't remember. Let me check. Oh, this one right here? Hmm. Yeah, there's your Winnego head, but the problem is, is it's top. Oh, you know what? You could have it to where maybe it's like howling at the wind or something. Howling. So its head is facing up and you're looking at the backside of it. I guess that might work. I think that might work. Yeah, this is tricky. That's the beauty of the of trying to work out monster tokens is that you know it the tool is not designed to make monster tokens so you really have to be creative about putting that kind of stuff together um the way i would go about this is probably make it a little bit darker and then use a series of stamps to kind of make a furry backside i could possibly use um i think a good furry backside would be some of that read stamp and then just make it black or really dark let's try that out so i think these right here kind of look like fur and if we can piece these together to make the back make the shoulders and i think the way that we could do that is even use like some kind of brain coral or something to make the big shoulders let me look at the Im reference image again real quick Oops. i love this winnego that you just made <laughs> look at this that's awesome, Cheryl. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, yeah, you could use that head. I think that would be even better, but... Mm. Oh, a Leshen. Oh, that's straight from the the Witcher, or I, maybe the Witcher got it from medieval history, I would assume. Okay. Well, I don't want to do the same thing that Cheryl did, because that's like cheating in my brain, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, let's first make the shoulder pads, or like where the shoulders will be, so this is like shoulders and we're going to change that color as well to make it more brown to make it darker and then we'll cover that in this uh, reed stuff and we're also going to want to change that color to this as well so we'll go to filter i'm not sure if it can pick up a brown i guess if you make it red and then drop the brightness of it that might work 
but there's no way to actually get brown that I know of. Okay, Ooh, this is all on layer five too. Let's stop and fix that. I don't want it on layer five. I want these all on a layer below so that I can stack things on top of it. I should have mentioned layers earlier in the video. Be very aware of layers. Okay, uh, oops, and it went green, shoot. It's because I didn't add it. Uh, a little bit darker, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna place these on like this. And I'll turn the shadow off later. For right now, I'm just going to stack these up together to kind of create the illusion of fur. And I'm going to have it also climbing up its back and up its neck as well, like this. Let's add another one here. So just for now, and I'm just this also is blending kind of the stamps together. Let's add in one more right here. Okay, and then we're going to stop and think about the rest of the body. So this is the head shoulders it's basically a bust from behind the next step is to kind of add a body and we want to think about what pieces to use for that we can probably just use this same brain coral just put it behind you see it's not selected make sure you put a layer behind everything and we also probably want to change some of this like this and i have to go back and look at the image is references real quick to take a look Oh man, these references are awesome. Thank you for sharing them. Okay, let's also change the saturation of this one and the brightness. Keep it down. So we have now like kind of the, this is gonna be like the breast, gonna be the chest area. And we're gonna continue adding fur, going down it and hiding it. And I'm, even though you can't see it, you can leave sections of it too revealed. So it looks like you can see kind of this rotted, weird looking, kind of design underneath so leave some lying around and we can also try to put in this same squiggly design with the path tool in here as well so that it matches the skin or this could just be all fur and we don't have to worry about that so it really just depends what you're looking for let's add in the rest of this fur going down the body and we'll make sure to put blood and all kinds of other gross stuff on there because that's just how we roll here we're just nasty. Okay. And then I think they have long, really linky kind of legs. So they're kind of tall, it looks like. Utterly mortifying. <laughs> Not something I want to run into. <laughs> That's for sure. And then also I recommend taking some now that you've added this part also, um, let's just group it right now, for now, and just call this the, the upper part of the body. Let's rename it, just call it upper body. And then take those same reads. Let's just see what layer this is on first. Upper body is at layer negative two. Let's go up to um, layer zero, so it should be on top. And I'm going to change the brightness just a little bit. And what this is doing is kind of creating the illusion of height. So the hair that's higher up is going to be a little bit lighter and you're creating depth through contrast. So when I add this on here, this is going to be like a long hairline that goes down the back all the way down like this. And so it kind of looks like a, a hairline going down. I also want to rotate it because look, there should be, for any of those that are artists, curves always look really nice. So if we can make the body look like this, where there's a curve like that, it will give it a more natural look. It will look more interesting and curves are really pleasing to the eye. So I'll change this back, this hair right here on the back to kind of conform to this curve. So that looks nice. I'm just gonna delete it. I have the curve already generally in my head and I'm just gonna grab these smaller ones and just kind of rotate them so it goes with that curve. Rotate it even more. There we go. That looks good. Rotate, rotate. Move this one. And then let's add a smaller one going all the way up. A little bit higher up. Let's flip, rotate. I want that little tuft to stick out at the top like this. There we go. Okay. There we go. So far, so good. I'm okay with it. It's not my favorite, but it's all right. You're not always going to be pleased with every monster token that you make, unfortunately. But that would be cool if you did. 
Okay, now we got to make basically torso. Ooh, ooh, for reference, ooh, that's a spooky looking a lava spider. Oh God, let's not look at that yet. I'm I'm getting <laughs> tranced in the lava spider. Let's not do that. Okay, let me go back to references and check the torso and leg. Ooh, yeah, super small torso, super small long legs, and really bloody hands. Okay, well that is all doable. Let's get the torso done. Figure out what we want to use for the torso. I think we're going to piece together a torso with these stamps like this. So we got like the hip bone popping out. Let me get back here. Put this in here like this. And I want, I think I want these to be behind, I think, because we're looking at the back side. Trying to remember how this would work. Anatomy is not my favorite. <laughs> Not sure that it's anyone's favorite. It is hard. Without a doubt, I'm going to group this and we'll make sure to cover it in fur. It's just a, uh, it's just there to kind of help you give you an idea of what to work with. So it's just, you know, like a, a frame. Go down like this. That was good so far. So we are looking at the back side of a Wendigo. Wendigo, how do you pronounce it? Was it Wendigo or Wendigo? Anyone know? Nope. Wendigo. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. We can get to some parts that might be a little bit more interesting, like kind of making the legs. And I just use wall pieces for legs generally. Let me take a look. Or we can make his legs out of fish. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> fish legs. <laughs> let's do fish legs. No, let's not do fish legs. Okay. Long long legs and I also want to follow that curve so I'm gonna put this down real quick like this and I'm gonna cover that in fur change the color warp it a bit I'm gonna put that curve back so I know that I'm working with probably shouldn't have removed it the first time but hey it happens I got that curve there perfect I'm gonna select this stamp turn that layer off go to transform and we're gonna change the width so it's a little bit thicker Change the height, and we're making the first one. I think it's the th is going to be your thigh, and then let me just think about the curve and how I want this to go. And I think if their legs are different. They don't. The legs go back. I think. Let me check. Yeah, how to portray that will be difficult. Ooh, I really did choose a hard one. <laughs> yes, love doing that. <laughs> Okay, all right. Let me just think about this. Now they look like they're spread even. What is going on here? No, I don't want to do that. I didn't just say that. Okay, I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Oh, man. This is not really going the way that I hoped it would, but hey, it's all right. That's what I get for... Uh, Asking other people to choose the creatures for me. <laughs> exactly. Uh, one leg going forward, maybe. And then maybe one going back. Ooh, 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 this is going to be really hard. Like, super duper tough. But I'm up for the challenge. I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> and you should get all about... <laughs> Love it. Got music to this group. I love it. What's there not to love here? Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Okay. I'm going to have thinking about this. Uh, let's just actually finish the frame of the whole leg and then I can kind of figure out where the pieces are going to be. This is super duper hard. And I think there's three joints to the Wendigo's legs in the images. Let me check. Oh no, they, there's anthropomorphic one too. Yeah, okay. Wait, it's called a digigrade? Dig cool, okay, I didn't know that, so that's great information. Thank you, I'd always wondered what the name of that was. I'm like, what is this? What is this? I have no idea how to put that together, but I am going to attempt it anyway. 
and you can all mock me mercilessly on how crappy it looks, and I would encourage you to do so. <laughs> yeah, well, this is going to be tough, but I'm sure we can come up. Yeah, I'm sure I can come up with something, but this will this will be tough because I'm also doing like the backside and I'm not doing like a side angle, like really kind of probably doing it at, at this angle. It wasn't probably the right way to go. Like another one probably would have been a bit easier, but hey, whatever. Because I honestly don't like to have the face um, like hidden on the backside. For me, that's like an art no-no, kind of an art foul, shall we say. Like it's nice to actually see the face of the creature monster monster token that you're making that way because you know the face is the most recognizable thing so i might want to consider changing it i might even just scrap this one or just group it and put it to the side and kind of figure this out later because this could be hours and hours of trying to figure out how to do it <laughs> awesome i do love it though i'm gonna keep this for later does anyone have any arguments who, who made the win ago con was it you callum death assassin are you still here, Death Assassin? All right. I mean, are you you want you okay if I change, or would you prefer I try to make this one work? You want to see this one work? Wait, could you say that again? I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I want to make it's your suggestion, so really it, it rests on your shoulders. I'm putting you in a pressure, 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 pressure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. You said keep it? All right, wow. Okay, that's, oh, I just made everything big. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. I don't believe in myself right now. <laughs> I know, naughty, naughty man. <laughs> the Bob Ross. More com more competent artist than I am. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I interrupt you, Death? <laughs> that sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. <laughs> Believe in the heart of the of the cards. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I I remember that show. Oh my gosh. You know what really sucks though was when you played the like video games. The Yu-Gi-Oh! video games are like, this is nothing like the show. Like, I want to use a little furry ball to, like, defeat all my enemies, but they just get murdered. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, the games are nothing like the show. It's kind of frustrating. I'm just going to say that right now. It's frustrating. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to work with this. I kind of want it to give a feel like it's howling at the moon kind of thing, like werewolf kind of thing. And we can kind of make it whatever we want, but... Let's just have an opera. Oh, oh. <laughs> can this beast carry a, a note or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, I love it. Yes, no, I was thinking that. <laughs> I got that. Okay, holy schmoey. Yeah, this is definitely like uh, some opera, or some opera going on. <laughs> That's what it kind of feels like. Wendigo. <laughs> is he a Baba? Okay, yeah, let's just put the rest of the fur. He is a Baba. Okay, let's put some more fur on here. I think there's some darker ones too. Put the darker ones on. Oops, shoot, this is the problem when you're working with a group, when you accidentally, it's like, ah, I wish that wasn't an issue. I think it might, might be mostly because um, I'm using 3K and trying to record at the same time. And so it's just, just having a hell of a good time trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, I'm just going to put fur on the rest of the legs and the arms, and then we can maybe group arms and legs and then maybe maneuver them around. So that's kind of the plan I'm going to work with. Oops, that needs to be above, above. There we go. Sweet. Well, I appreciate the patience. I appreciate everyone believing in me. That's great. I'm glad someone gave me a challenge. 
to see that I am indeed mortal after all. Oh, yeah, thank you. Ooh, you know, this could be like a party. Disco party, disco party. Just like dancing really slowly, spinning. Maybe it's like a, I, I, I don't know, like some kind of like, I, I maybe he's a, yeah, I, I know, shut up. Stop revealing my weaknesses. <laughs> the kryptonite, it burns. A texture to go underneath it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's a pelt, yeah. Some kind of pelt. Okay. That's a good idea. I'll finish the fur. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, I'll finish the fur. So I was going to have it to be where, um, like a satyr esque, where you have like fur that stops and then have a little bit of tuff at the bottom where like the, the, the hoof would be. And then I'll have the forearm be exposed and then have or have your bicep exposed and then have uh, your other part of your arm uh, be <clears throat> a covered in fur. So that's what I'm going with for now. Like just kind of basing it off of satyrs from Greek history or Greek mythology, I believe. I think they're called satyrs. Okay, so we got that. And I put a little bit of tough where the hoof would be. Like this and then another one over here, I think. Okay, oops, that looks kind of weird actually. I'm not so sure if I like that. Maybe they need to be darker, I think, because they they stand out and I don't want them to do that. I'd rather they blend in better with the wood color. It's a little bit better. And then we have to put in arms, or I'm sorry, add in um, some hands and I think spikes, something really creepy would be really good. So maybe I can just use these ones like this. I'll change the brightness this and I'm I think I'm gonna use three hands instead of three fingers instead of five maybe that's a lot to work with so maybe three is just okay for now I'll quickly make it I'm gonna add these long spikes for the, the fingernails so it should be spike and from what I can see in the image they're really long and, and creepy looking like Edward Scissorhand kind of creepy Let's copy paste and I'm gonna actually let's shorten these. These are super long. Let's go to advanced settings, change the height. And we'll try to make the full the full skeleton of the of the fingers. Best that I can. can. Add another one like here, like this. And then comes the spikes. One second, we'll put those together. This one. I think really long would be really good. And then putting blood all over them, of course. Because they do look super long in the image to me. Like super creepy long. Oh, whoa. Now that was weird. Mm, that's the second time I've recorded that bug. That's, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Okay, and then we'll select every single one of these if I can oh I have to open the whole thing my bad and we'll just copy and paste this over to the next one uh oh what did I do oh no they're separate oh, gosh dang it ah uh, what a pain that's the problem with groups sometimes you go in and out of a group you don't realize it I'm sure all of you have done that and it is such a pain like ah uh. okay yeah, that should be okay. I might even want to consider dropping the brightness just a little bit. Thank you, everyone, for bearing with me here. Okay. And I'm going to copy and paste these and go over to the next hand. Copy, paste. You know, this thing is turning out better than I thought. Thank you for encouraging me, everybody, for sticking with that. All of you will be on the Explore page for a week. No, I'm just kidding. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, let's just make it different. I don't recommend making it exactly the same as um, the last hand because then it looks kind of weird. Like it just kind of looks like you didn't work and do any effort into it. So make the hand do something a little bit different than the last one. Okay. I think that looks good. Very Edward Scissor Hands, I'd say. Very, very Edward Scissor Hands. Okay. And someone mentioned a pelt, correct? That. The dreaded one. That's a compliment, right? Like you should be dreaded, I guess. <laughs> you should be dreaded. Feared for your immense skills. So something like this you think is that what you're saying on top below what mm -hmm. well i'm gonna give it a shot i think overall like the pelt looks good right here like this I'll just make it cover some of the fur and then put it right here. It kind of looks like it's strapped. Like like right here, it looks like their shoulders, it goes over. It wraps around the back. That was a great suggestion, by the way. Good one, I like it. Great suggestion. And then let's, oopsie, what, which one is this wall spike? Oh, that one. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, oh, I see, okay. I'm gonna move it to the side so I don't, because it was kind of picking up the green mist from this thing. Just keep that in mind that when you do that, like if you go over like this, it's behind, like that green mist is going to affect those stamps. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay. Um, I think I wanted to add blood on the fingers, and then we'll do that same, and then maybe try to make the hooves, I think, should be the last part. 11.08. We got another hour. Yeah, that works for me. Let's put blood, because there is seems to be a lot of blood on the... Okay, cool. That looks good. And I think I will just leave it like that. that. Looks fine. And then one here. Okay, yeah, that looks good. So let's get some blood there. Let's even put some, like maybe on the side, like right there. Another one right here, just to kind of break up how brown that looks. Oh, let's push that up a layer. There we go, like that. Okay. It's like they just were gorging themselves. They just got back from mealtime. Okay. Uh, yeah, one last thing, that hooves, and then that mist, so what would look good for a hoof? Anyone got any suggestions? Let me check the images real quick. I, th yeah, it would, it, that angle, I would assume so, right? Because, let me look that where that second joint is. Yeah, I would think it would be hidden in front, right? So you would have to put it in the front of it, right? I think. Okay, let's. I was gonna try like this maybe, and then put it, and then maybe put it in way in the back, like this, and then let me see. Oh, it's not. Let me try one more. Go back one more. Will it go all the way behind it? And our... this opacity needs to be all the way up too. My bad. I just noticed that. So something maybe kind of like this, I would assume. Let me change the brightness down. Shoot, this is really difficult. If anyone knows, let me know. Because this doesn't look right to me. I would think it'd be like this. Shoot, tough one. I'm not sure. Let me flip it around. Maybe it looks weird because yeah, that looks a little better. I'm going to go with that and maybe even change the brightness a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Sure, oh, that's a good idea. Like this kind of hammer? Is this what you were thinking, Dread? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I'm going to go with it because I think, Callum, you had said, like, we are running out of time, so I will go with this. And I do agree with um, trying to do something different than I normally do because I do rely heavily on wood. That's a, that's a fact. That... I'm sorry? Look. An orc drum? Okay, let me... Let me... Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to do, I'll try one with a hammer, or maybe we can mix them all together. Like the, maybe the hammer, the hammer is the heel, and then you have a foot part coming out. Like that, that sounds reasonable. Maybe we can mix all of them together. Whew. This is a challenge, and I like it. Okay. And what was the other one? Um, what'd you say? A drum. Someone said a drum. Spikes. Okay. Oh, hey, you know what? I actually. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Well, let's try drums next, and then we'll go on the next one if that doesn't look right. So I kind of confess I do like the drum because it does have that hoof look right here at the bottom, especially if you probably were to flatten it. Or to not flatten it, but to kind of squeeze it down a bit more. Yeah, that might work. Let's just go with that one for now. Sorry that I didn't use that other suggestion. Don't worry, we're going to be making more. I think... I think that should do. I don't want to go too far into it. Let me flip this and put it here. And then we'll add in that last missed part. And then we'll call it good because I don't want to spend too much time. So let me just scale it down. Hopefully everything's been grouped. And we'll do that mist trick again, and we'll pick kind of a, <clears throat> we'll pick what color that we want to overall make that. One second. And lag is just not helpful. Okay, put it up a layer so it confects the whole thing. Is there any suggestions for colors? Let me know. I was probably gonna go with Maybe a red, not sure. There's already red with blood, but let me just try adding in, flip this up. And then let's go to color, object, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, I'll try red first and just see how it looks. And then we'll group and move on to the next one. Ooh, I like that. Was it you, Dread, right, who made this one? Are you cool with that? No, no, I I put a, uh... oh, I'm sorry, Death Assassin. Sorry, not Dread, I'm sorry. Death Assassin, are you all right with adding this mist over here like this, or do you like it better without? With it? Okay. I think this should, this should probably do. I think this looks good. Yeah, it's not too bad. I appreciate that. Everyone got to see my weaknesses, a vulnerable moment. <laughs> Okay, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here against here. We still wanna leave room for the palette and it is 15, so yeah, maybe one or two, just depends if this next one is just absolutely insane. It's gonna test the limits of my abilities. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is gonna be exciting. <laughs> yeah. That was fun, that Wendigo was hard and I didn't actually think I was gonna do it, but the encouragement and just the direction it went in with your help. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but I like it. So I think also there are other things like bringing one of the feet forward and bringing one back and those kind of things and putting one of the arms in a shadow and one not. And we can kind of get to that another time, maybe a part two or something. But <clears throat> now we're gonna do a spider. And actually uh, spiders are like one of my favorite monster tokens to kind of make. And I think, I'm sorry. I, spiders are spiders are fun to make. I'm gonna use just like this kind of stamp from Fantasy Regional HD. 
I think that works. I'm gonna make it real big so you can you have a lot to work with. I think I didn't lock this one, so let's make sure that I do that. And we're changing the name Wendigo. Did I spell that right? I think a Wendigo. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and I'm gonna lock it because you don't again don't want to accidentally select this. Lava spider, I think immediately we should probably boost up the saturation and then change it to probably like red or yellow or any of that kind of color. Let's just see what might look good. Purple, let me take a look. Uh, no, let me bring the brightness up. Sometimes it's hard to bring out like the red or the color you want without changing that brightness. Let's see here, Ooh. yellow. Uh, I think so, but I like this. So this one right here is a bit smaller. It has a smaller abdomen, and so it's like it's less to work with. And that's the top one has a real big one. So I mean, unless you, unless I mean, who came up with the suggestion? Okay, would you like to pick uh, which spider you want to use? Because I'm fine with either one of them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How dare you pick one? That I don't like. No, it's kidding. It's fine. No, it's fine. I'm just kidding. Okay, so yeah, we'll use this one. Hey, I'm trying to leave the decision really, a lot of the decision making up to the people who made the suggestions. So, okay, so now this is the fun part trying to figure out how we want to make this. I'm going to go look at the suggestion real quick that was made. Looks like Ongolith from Lord of the Rings with fire. Oh, cool. Yeah, so there's like cracked skin and so maybe some chasms might look good and it looks like we've got some glowing yellow eyes but yeah this is going to be really fun um i do think that there are some ash stamps ash no i think it's in fantasy i think it's in battle mats burning ash this right here will look really good so we'll add these ones on let's just zoom in real quick and again, the spider is going to be really blurry because, again, it is at a, uh, it's way above the 500 threshold. And I'm going to place these on top real quick just to see how they look. And we're probably going to change the blend mode. But what I want is to kind of create this illusion of like hot, bubbling surface. Like the abdomen is like really just lava or magma. I think it's lava, lava, yeah. If it's under the ground, then it's magma. If it's out of the ground, it's lava, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and we're just going to decorate the abdomen to have like that. And then I'm going to also make sure that these don't have shadows on because, yikes, it was blurring out that nice red. So get rid of that. Let's add in one more to it. And then I would consider changing the blend mode to see if they interact better with the body let's turn that off select all three of the burning ashes and let's push the saturation all the way up maybe even add the brightness all the way up yeah i kind of like that let's make it a little bit bigger and thankfully those the scratches the little black parts are black so they're kind of be hidden underneath so that's kind of nice so we got that and let's maybe check some of the blend modes just to see how they look. Ooh, that's trippy. Oh, weird. Mm. That's scary. Uh, I think just normal might be best. I think that would look best. Okay. And this spider. Let me just check the use and real quick to see how I can make that red stick out more let's drop the saturation just a bit and what i'm trying to do is that i don't want i want to pick a color that's going to help to make that hot lava part pop out more that doesn't mean i'm going to change it to some really weird color it just means i just want to find a color that's going to complement that red and drop the saturation down so that the red pops out more or at least the uh, the ash part does. Let me see. I think that looks okay. All right. And then 
what next that could work really well is to add in some light sources to really make add in some dimension to it so add in light and I think the orange light might work well here let's take the blend mode all the or the layer all the way up bring the size down make them kind of small there we go and put it over it layer five there we go and what we're doing is good we want to make sure that that looks like it's glowing so I'm putting it on the most brightest parts so it gives it that extra glow there we go got some lava I like that and the next part too is to maybe add in some look like there's lava like there's veins of lava maybe or something like that and so I think the the path tool might work really well for this always with the path tool put down a path first so that way you can you know edit it live instead of making all these changes and then putting it on the canvas and you're like wait I don't like the way this turned out uh, let's go with yellow and then maybe add a red glow to it okay let me just check red glow and then we'll change the blend mode once it's applied so let's just say there's some like veins going like this like maybe there's like crack because it does look like in the image that there's cracks so let's go with that mm-hmm right exactly I try to avoid flattening because of that issue um, because really when I'm making these things I'm hoping that one day when we actually add the group to stamp option that all these monster tokens you can officially you don't have to like um, you know when you're making one yourself you know it could just officially be a group and then become a stamp and you can move it around so avoiding uh, layer avoiding flattening Unless you're going to do shadowing and, and lighting and stuff, then flattening really is the kind of the best way to go outside of using the path tool for shadows. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to try to avoid uh, that unless there is one trick, by the way. There is one thing that you can do, but like that you don't have to flatten it, but you'll have to repaint it every time you move. You could put a clipping mask to fit over the whole abdomen and then paint over it. And that way it's not flattened you can move it around but then your entire fg background or fg layer would also have to be lava so that any way you moved it around it would at least be that way you know what i mean that right i'm just gonna select all these paths right exactly but it might not work if you want to have that you know but whenever i use monster tokens in a vtt i actually just uh copy and paste I just cut out the black background because a lot of VTTs have an official background with the creature I don't know there's a lot of transparency but the ones I've used do and so you don't have to worry about um, what color the background is or if it's movable because once you've put it into the VTT as a token it's not really a problem but it depends on the VTT that you're using from what I understand okay, just add in a couple more and I'll change the blend mode and we're going to try to fix up this too to make it to where there's more lava and stuff going on so we'll select all these paths and we could change the blend mode if we wanted to uh, probably to something like a lighten or a screen or if it's just the same just leave it as is it's up to you overlay Ooh, i actually kind of like the overlay it kind of looks a little bit more natural like it's into it and then maybe add some of that same one over to the abdomen part and then we'll do some other things to make the abdomen look like there's lava and stuff coming out of it so we'll try to do that as well let's try to see how this looks by adding in some cracks you see this is why the other spider might have worked a little bit better because it's just there's more room on the abdomen to work with but it's okay it was voted in that this shall be the one and I don't mind
Okay, let's also take a look at our stamps. I'm gonna type in lava and see if there's any options. Oh, it's all hell stuff, which hasn't been released yet. So it can't be showing it that. Come on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh no. I don't know if I really want to. I guess the only other thing I can think of that you could do is to mess with maybe a brain coral and put it over it as well and then change the blend mode so that you kind of get that lava feel to it. I'll show you. I'll put a, a this on top of it, turn off object shadow, boost up the saturation, so and kind of put it at the color you want. Maybe you want it to be at red like that. And then you're going to have to use the transform tool and put it on like this. And what you could do is make your own abdomen like this. So where it looks kind of more lava like, and you can also change that blend mode that you want. So it will interact with the back part of it. And we'll just see if, which one color dodge right here. Okay. Yeah, that does look nice. If I up the contrast of that particular stamp, the sea brain coral, yeah, let's find out. So you say up, let's find out. Mm, it looks this. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's not worry about that. And then also, that's a good suggestion. Now, that would have been, I was curious myself about that one. <laughs> Why don't we? No, you're fine. Go ahead. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't work too well. Or. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, you mean underneath the bottom part of the abdomen? Right, it technically would if it's completely lava, yeah. And maybe adding in a leather light source that will make it, because right now it's like this is a fiery hot abdomen, but you don't really notice like the heat like reflecting off of the body at all. So maybe adding in another light source that's really big and kind of putting it over the whole thing so that it kind of gives it like there's an emanating glow, as you would kind of expect, I guess, right? Let's go all the way, make it nice and big, and then put it right over it like this. So you have that glow. And I want to also take all these flames and maybe make them a little bit more transparent. So I'll select them all. I mean, are you all right with the flame idea? Is that okay with everybody? I think the flame should give a little bit more character and make it look like it's it's really hot. I. Yeah, really angry. And you know what also might look really good is some lava like coming out of its mouth, like dripping out of its mouth. Like maybe that would look kind of cool. Let's do that. I think we have that blend mode. Let me see. Okay, yeah, you can't really see it with overlay. So I'd have to switch it to normal blend mode. There we go. And maybe change the width a bit. And this is the part that's going to be kind of fun because I could maybe make like a pool of lava on the ground where like it's saliva is like dribbling down so if you get pit, bit by it it's like fire damage you know let's just okay that's a bit small let's boost it a little bit bigger let's go with five there we go okay and we're gonna go like this for now and have it dripping down like this and we can we're, we're gonna make these we'll make changes too so it's not quite done yet This going down. Okay, and then we'll even add even smaller width. Like this going down. So it's all dribbling kind of down. And we'll change the blend mode. We'll change all this stuff so it goes well together. And also I want to put it flush against here. I actually should probably do this in the background, but it's okay. 
All right, and then let's go down two layers, bring the width all the way up. We want to create like a pool of it. And you know, there are ways I could go. I could probably use a blood. I probably could use a blood stamp that might work better for it. I'm not sure. Uh, let's just try putting them uh, with changing the blend mode. So I'll select all these paths right here. Actually, let's just go over because there's so much to work with here. I'm just going to turn everything off in the selection and just do path. And that way, when I go across like this, only only paths will be selected. Okay, we're going to delete these ones. It's just going to be these ones. And we'll change the blend mode to see if maybe one of these would work better. I'm not sure. We're going to find out in a minute. Oh, that's, that's cool. <laughs> no. Sometimes paths can be difficult to work with. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Let's try just changing the... Let's try turning that pool off. Just select these ones. And I'm going to change the opacity just a bit. And then we'll put some light in there. And I'll add a pool of blood that might work. Let me change the hue. Will it change a color to yellow? It might not. That is kind of hard to get. Yeah, I'm not really going to see a yellow here. Shoot. Um. Okay, let's go with red and I'll change. Oh, I see the problem. I've got darken. That's probably the reason why. Let me try doing it again. No, okay. I think red will just have to do or let me try bringing the brightness up. Maybe I can pull the yellow out. Let me see. Uh just kind of right there yeah that's close that's close it's not exactly what we wanted but shoot yeah this is tough stuff um let me go ahead and flatten this so it looks like it's more a better angle and i'm gonna have to change some things Let's go with adding a shadow i'm gonna make it red or yellow. Let me try red first. Uh, I don't know about that one. And we'll change the blend mode and we'll see if maybe we can get this to work right. Kind of a tough one. Yikes, it's not going to blend in with that. That's the only issue. Hmm. That is a total bummer. But we can do things. Since it's interacting with matter on the ground, you can add in the flames as you would kind of expect it to do. Add some flame on the ground, and we're going to use it just to cover up the connection point. So that way, it's not like, ah, that doesn't work. So we can do that. Let's add in just a little bit of flame there. This is what I call some very volatile spit. Okay, put another one here. All right. Let's take a step back, see what it looks like. Uh, it looks like it's a little too far down. I would wager. Oh, that's only set to path. Let me move that. My bad. Uh, I'm going to do all except for group. So let's just select this stuff. Okay, and I'm going to select that one. And I think we might have to move this path a little bit higher up because it kind of looked like it was in the wrong place. Let's group it and then take it a layer below. There we go. I think that looks a little better. Yeah, because it was so far down, it looked like it wasn't just that that perspective was just wrong. Let's just group all this. How much time do I got? 36. Oh, oopsie. It did not select that. Oopsie. I forgot because I don't have all group. There we go. Let's group it. Spider. Lava spider, was it? Yeah, I think so. Did I lose anybody? Oh, oh, I'm still on. Okay, cool. Want to make sure. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's awesome. Love this. Whoever made this spider, this is cool. Yikes! That is mortifying. I love it. <laughs> yeah, that is sick. That is really cool. Yeah, I really like that. That's way better than mine. <laughs> way better than mine. <laughs> uh, okay, let's bring it down in size. 
And I think we also need to put some eyes in there. And I think maybe go with something besides red, or we could just use those um, orbs. I think the orbs look good. And, uh, yellow maybe, or is it too much yellow? Red eyes, do you want something just totally different, like maybe a cool color in there? Who made the suggestion for the spider and what should it be? Are you fine with yellow orbs or something else? Kind of makes more sense. I, th I mean, yeah, you can't even really see it. It's so small. Yeah, we'll, we'll just put three together like this, I think. Let me just take a look. Let's zoom out real quick. Yeah, that looks, that looks okay. It's still so blurry because it's just not meant to be, just not meant to be that big. My goodness. I, you know, I think we need to start adding in large, larger creatures into the catalog that you can kind of work with because it's just so blurry. You can barely see it. That's not good. Let's bring it down to a size it's supposed to be at, even at 3K. Let me bring it down to something smaller. Just see how it looks. Yeah, maybe it'll just look better in 4K. It's just so blurry, unfortunately. I'm also going to add some, uh, add a, a little bit more to it, add in maybe a light source and make it uh, blend in with it, just like I did with Mist. Ooh, this has been challenging. I thought a, a, a lava spider would be a bit easier. And boy, was I wrong on that. Heck no, not making it easy, that's for sure right? <laughs> okay, let's go through the different blend modes and see if I can find one that would go well. If you see one, let me know, okay? Color burn. Screen color dodge. Ooh, that's tripping me out right there. What? Overlay, soft light, hard light difference. Nope. Exclusion hue. Whoa, whoa. Don't want to lose that. Whoa. That is definitely tripping me out. <laughs> color luminosity. Um, okay. Let me change the color to like a red if I can. It's super hard to get red, by the way. Usually you just get purple or kind of a pinkish color. Red is super hard to accomplish. Okay. Holy shoot. Red is super hard. You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to get like just ultra red out of this unfortunately then we'll go over through the blend modes again real quick let me know if you see one that you like Ooh, that's trippy what happens if i was to like put that like maybe just over the the abdomen like this just to give it that kind of eerie kind of glow and then drop yeah, that looks a little bit better. It kind of gives it kind of a sense of eerie glow to it, so I like that part. And then... Right, right. And then I could even take the spider part and maybe even add a glow around its body. That might work. So let me check, click the spider. And it might not work because of that, that shadow. That's the problem. So let's just add in object and then put it, make it yellow and see, it should, oh, there we go, okay, maybe, oh, you see it does the shadow, that's the problem, the shadow underneath, or maybe that's a good thing, I don't know, let me bring, change it to red maybe, and bring it down, and then also make it maybe not so bright, something like that maybe, I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I think it works fine. Let me also, let me just do a filter real quick and put um, clarity real quick. We'll see if we can pop these out a bit more. Yeah, the clarity helps. I'll turn it off for now, but I think the clarity helps. We only have 20 minutes left. Shoot, I only got to make four. Ooh, that's what you get for doing all the challenges. <laughs> I think I can make one easy one. Let's change this to lava. 
Evil armor? Okay, yes. <laughs> uh, lava spider. It's okay if I go a little over, too. It's not a big deal. Unless people here are like, dude, we've heard you long enough. Shut up. <laughs> the Bob Ross. <laughs> Silly is what I do. Uh, yeah, probably not. I'm utterly ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Yeah, exactly. You know, just don't take me seriously at all. I hate serious. It's so boring. <laughs> why so? Why so serious? I'm sorry. It has its place. That's true. Okay. And we're doing living armor. Is that what I heard? Oh. Evil. Oh, evil armor. So you got a reference image that you want to work with? Yeah, grab me one. We'll take a look. So far, the lava spider is probably my favorite, and then comes the the unicorn of undead unhappiness person. Let's just take a look. Oh, super creep. So there's no body in it. It's just armor. Hmm. Okay. Well, very what? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a Dullahan or a living armor or anything like that. Like Dullahan and living armor Dullahans are like one of my favorite favorite monsters and like RPGs. They're so cool. Okay, so we've done that. So living armor. You know, there's one style that we haven't used yet. It is going to be so different from the others. Should I stick with fantasy battle maps or go into like watercolor battle maps? And I know I don't. No. <laughs> well, I mean, sh <laughs> oh, don't say that. Oh, don't. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, let's see if we can make something that will change your mind, shall we? <laughs> let's try it i mean i know for a fact there's straight up armor pieces in this style i mean i could make armor too with fantasy battle maps i i am and also i'm also looking that i have a 15 minute time limit um well i mean hey look i'll i'll go ahead and just try to put something together and if you don't like that i will absolutely go back to uh you know using fantasy battle map i have no issue with that if you hate it, oh, well, then you're going to hate it right now. <laughs> well, the black, the black lines are off-putting on a lighter screen, but with the black background, it actually kind of helps just a bit. It just... <laughs> well, that's reasonable. Yep, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, <laughs> this is Calum's like I will survive, but you you just lost two points, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yes, I can. Absolutely, I can lose points. It's totally doable. I actually have never made monster tokens with watercolor battle map before, so. This is like an entirely new experience for me. <laughs> You're like, oh God, do I have to? <laughs> and since I'm not familiar with using it, it's like now I have to like scroll through this aimlessly to figure out what to use. Like right now we need to make like arms, legs, an abdomen, uh, hip. <laughs> this is tough. Qua? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's so much fun going through here. <laughs> well, my my thing is loading so slow. Let let me save and then refresh the page because 
for some reason my 3k with obs on top of this is just being a total pain in the rear it's just so laggy it's like trying to go through the uh trying to go through the catalog is like uh hey let me bore you with five 20 minutes of scrolling <laughs> Yes, well, oh, oh, cool, I like this one too. In the uh, voice chat, this is a nice one too. Oh, I like that, cool. Yeah, I love Living Armor. Living Armor is so cool. Okay, we'll load it up, and if this fails, then we're going to switch over to Final Fantasy Battle Map. In fact, you know what? Maybe a, another another stream that's just watercolor. Um, Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's just... Stick with Fancy Battle Map. I know. Sorry, Mod. <laughs> sorry, Cheryl. But it is really up to the person who made the suggestion. Callum, you did make the suggestion, didn't you? Okay. Yeah. Mm, uh, I mean, I always rely on the other... The other, the person who created it generally, though. <laughs> well. <laughs> well well you did make the suggestion so and i did do follow everyone else's suggestions so yeah okay you know what i'm gonna go open up a different I'm gonna open up a different one and no i have to do this referencing because i gotta remember how i made the last living armor because <laughs> i've made one before and i just it's like uh shoot and i've just really agitated that the uh the, my catalog is just completely acting extremely funky <laughs> oh gosh dang it now i know be careful about recording in 3k dang it look at this it won't even let me do anything shoot come on oh this is agitating the daylights out of me okay one moment while i go over to a different style real quick i'm going to go ahead and grab a shield from fantasy world i real quick and i'll kind of use that as a breastplate that's a start I th no it's not parchment well it's fantasy well and i don't mind going over like a half hour or something that's fine we'll get in the last one okay yeah fantasy world i think i saw some shields in there i'm, I'm just wanting to put a body together i think a shield will help me kind of get the general breastplate down let me look at the references yeah yeah i think we can do that let's go ahead and just use some shields first and we want to make the general first uh breastplate the shoulder plates that we're going to want to put on there i'm just going to use red for now we can switch it to gray if we want just going to make the general idea of the body for now Paste. Let's see here. Living armor. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. Okay. Let's see here. That's a different size. There we go. All right. Let me sec. I'm just looking over the armor references. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I like. All right. And I think. I'm going to not use those circular ones and kind of use this one instead. Switch this. Go in. Make it a bit bigger. Copy paste. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. All right. I'm just going to move quickly. So apologies that I'm not going to be kind of explaining everything. I just limited for time. And I'm going to try to make living armor that's kind of intimidating, kind of dread-like, scary, 
kind of like, oh, I don't want to really want to mess with this dude. So let's let's build something with that kind of feeling to it. And one thing I really like in armor is when they have like a giant shoulder plate. Uh, I think that's more used in tournaments, but you know how the fantasy art goes. In fantasy art, they'll take something. It doesn't matter if it's functional or not. But we'll go ahead and make one plate really, really big right here, like this. I gotta make sure I also change, turn off the shadows to the tusks. Callum, feel free to make any suggestions if you wish. This is yours, so I don't mind any changes. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, that's great. And we'll change the color of everything using another stamp. Put in the breastplate. Let me check the reference images real quick. Cool. Oh yeah, I really like that one. That's sweet. Yeah, this is a really cool, really cool reference images that you provided. Okay, we'll add that in there. Small one. One second while I go in. <clears throat> Let me check. Actually. No, that's not what I want. Sorry, give me a minute. I'll put all this stuff together. Actually, that one... Ooh, you know what? This kind of has a more breastplate look to it. So maybe I can put this in the back and this one in the front, like this. Hmm. Yeah, this is challenging, but in, in, but enjoyable. I do love challenges, and I might want to consider adding an object layer to this shadow object shadow and bring it down so it kind of looks like this breastplate is sticking out just a little bit that will help okay there we go with that one and we'll change all of this probably to gray for now let me not group that let me just grab all these switch it to complete gray for now, all of these can be selected and made gray, just for now, because I kind of want dread. I don't think, we already did like fire with the spider, so it doesn't really make sense to add a living armor that's got a fire or red theme to it. So instead, we're going to go with gray, and then we'll throw in a whole bunch of other colors to it. Let's rotate this a bit farther up so there's room for the arm to hang out. Same thing with this one. We want room for the arm to come out. And we're going to want to think about uh, the kind of armor we want to use for arms. There's a, a lot of variation and change we can choose from. I mean, you could use uh, use these to also represent kind of the plates that go over your bicep, over your forearm. If you wanted to do like that, we could keep with that continuity so the armor looks like it's the same. So this would be like a forearm plate. Okay, and then we're going to want to look at the reference images for what the bicep looks like. There's a lot of different options. This one, I don't care for that option. Let's look at this one. Mm, no, okay. This should do for now. And then we want to connect the armor pieces with maybe like a ghostly, like aura, like maybe there's like green or purple tendrils that kind of looks like there's a mist or a smoke that's filling the body. Or if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. I personally like adding some kind of maybe a gaseous uh, corporal form that's inside of the armor that might make it look interesting. Okay. Let me look at the other armors real quick to see what other options I have to work with. Or not armors, but the shields. Okay. All right. And I think we want one arm to be, uh, to have like all the creepy, crazy looking stuff on it, like all the spikes and stuff. Another arm can be plain. So we'll put a lot of emphasis on one arm and then we'll put less emphasis on the other arm and we'll have it wielding like some giant pole arm or maybe some kind of ax. I'm not sure we'll have to piece together something to see what looks good. Okay, this is gonna be like your elbow plate. It's going to be a plate that goes where the joint is. Let me think about 
the arm real quick. Elbow, forearm, bicep. Okay, one second. It's going to take some time to think about it. And I have to think about how it's carrying its pole arm as well. So let's see here. This arm is going to be the left handed. So do we want it to be left handed or right handed, Callum? Do you mind? Left handed. Okay. So then we'll have this left hand be the arm that holds the main part, and this part will be the supporting arm for the pole arm. Okay, so I kind of want it to be, and I'll show you what I'm what I'm working with here. So I'm gonna have like the arm go like this, and this second arm, and we're gonna have a pole arm B or ax going up like this. So it's holding something, and we'll kind of have look something like this or whatever. Whatever the pole arm might be. So then the other arm will be folded inward, out, and then inward like this. So I'm just going to leave that there as a reference because I you want to visualize the general composition of the creature while you're putting it together. And so just having that little sketch with the path tool really helps me kind of give me direction on what I want to do. And posing is just super important. So and making natural poses or unnatural poses, depending on what you're looking for. Okay, like that. We'll delete that path, no longer needed. I kind of get where that arm is. And then you're going to have to have some kind of, let me look at the uh, hand armor real quick. That's, oh, that's okay, Pandora Knight. We will absolutely do a next one. You just mention, mention it in the stream chat one. Oh, wait, let me see. Did you already mention it in here? Let me see. Which one did you do? Let me check. Half goat. <laughs> Don't worry. Make sure to put your thing in the stream chat. Pandora, and I will make sure to make yours as well, okay? Not in this stream, but the next one. Okay, yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and add the pole arm real quick. Add the weapon so that I know how to position the rest of the arm and how it's going to wrap and be holding it. So we'll go into the catalog. I think I can just grab a pole, and I think that'll work just fine. There's some long poles like this. This will work just fine. Okay, yeah, this will work great. I'm gonna piece two of them together to make what, I'm, what I want. This, okay, piece these two together. Nice, long, long pull. Okay, let's uh, also delete these paths. I no longer need them. I've already put down the pole arm. Okay, now we can create the pole arm. Let's put together some pieces, see what we wanna make. Let's make a spike at the top that is for thrusting. Let's wait for a second, wait for the spike to kick in. One sec. Let's add a long one at the top, like this. And it should be, let me make sure that it's angled properly. I'll put it right along here to see if the angle's right. Okay, add that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come on, let me select. Oh, I got trapped. Oops. Got to save and refresh the page. Ooh, a harpy. Oh, heck yeah. That's going to be... Oh, wow. Everyone's giving me the challenging stuff. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Challenging is good. Off the clock, we'll give it... Say another 30 minutes. Callum, we can probably get this thing done. Uh, no problem. Appreciate the wait. Monday mornings are my favorite. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I love making weapons, so this will be kind of a fun thing to put together. So we'll work on the weapon. And that way, when it's all set, it can be grouped, and then we can change it if we want to change the overall position. Let's also add in, I think, if I type in weapon, there should be an axe in there. Let me check. I no no let me expand all just to verify where that there's an orc axe that looks kind of cool oh wow I'm not even seeing the other oh here we are great sword great axe okay this might work and we'll put it give it a second to load 
I'm going to put it behind. There we go. So you've got that axe part sticking out. We're going to make it a heck of a lot bigger. Make sure that we can kind of hide it behind the wood. Give me a second here. Still a little too big, unfortunately. And just to spice things up, okay, usually that would be metal right there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, let me just take a look. Let's also put some spikes like this. We'll put it below this. We're just going to make a fantasy weapon here. There we go. Okay. And then maybe even put a spike at the end of it. Oops, let's put it above it. We want it to cover up that wood part. There you go. And we could make it mystical too by adding some stuff to it to make it look kind of mystical. Let's also grab this thing and move it down so I got some room. There we go. Okay, so one thing I don't want to do is I just want to make sure that the weapon isn't hiding too much of the body. So I got to think about that. Let's have it going out like this so it's not covering up too much of the armor. That's the whole point. It's living armor. So we don't want to hide the armor by putting a weapon in front of it. So tilt the weapon a little bit at an angle so that way you can kind of get the full, you know, you know, full frontal of the uh of the uh, of the armor. Okay, that looks good. And I do heavily rely on wood. I have noticed that. So, and I probably will use wood for hands. I'm just going to change the the uh the saturation to zero so that it's gray. I'm sorry, that is opacity. That will not do. All the way to gray, change the brightness, and flip like this. So you have this looks like kind of like a hand. Like this, let's make it a little bit bigger. I think it would be larger. And let's copy paste the next one. I'm gonna flip it. And this looks like it's holding it upward. And I think this looks kind of wrong to me a little bit. Maybe bring this one higher up, bring this one down and rotate this more because the hands are super close together for this pole arm. Kind of makes me want a little bit more distance between it. So you have that, that, and then we want to add in the armor as well for this one. And what I'm going to do is have it be to where um, <clears throat> This armor is going to be a bit darker. So this arm is in the front, like in front, and the other arm is a little bit behind. And I'm going to create depth by dropping the brightness of the armor. So just take this, bring it down, put in like this, and then copy paste this one, brightness down, and then also change uh, this as well. Oops, I think I might have to change it even more. Let's go with height, there we go. Something like that might work, and then this should be a little bit darker as well. Okay, maybe this could probably be even darker than that. It's way in the background. This shield right here could also be a little bit darker. Okay, so the main, we're putting a lot of emphasis on the left arm because they're left-handed. Let's go ahead and change up, put a different spike in here. They all look kind of the same and I don't want to do that. Let's add a, like a broken one, like a nodule, like right here. Broken off and then we'll put another one. Oops, there's a shadow, I'll have to get to that too. Uh, let's add in one more hook right here like this maybe. Maybe she uh, actually I want to put all the emphasis on the shoulder so maybe putting too much spikes on here might not work let me put in those other smaller spikes are you okay with this so far Cal good Oh, the, maybe like a cur curious, curious, I can't remember. Maybe someone here has a lot more knowledge of armor. I only know just a little bit. 
I'm busy. That's all right. You're allowed to be busy. Okay, yeah, let's just add in some spikes, and I want to make sure some of them overlap and go over like this, so because it gives it that sense of depth. And the angle is important too, so the spikes, if I put them up like all like this, I'm kind of forcing some of the perspective by doing that. Okay, let me take a look. Yeah, and then I think for fun, we'll also, we're gonna put some fun stuff on the front of the armor as well. I think there's some fun stuff that we can either use from Parchment or Fantasy World. Both have heraldic, heraldic art, and maybe we can put some heraldic art on the chest plate to give it some like, um, like some kind of heraldry of some kind. Let's take a look. I generally use Parchment because I like the heraldic symbols, but there are some more colorful ones in World. Let's just go to parchment actually. I like it better. And parchment, if there's a particular heraldic symbol that you like more than others, Callum, let me know. We can put it on here. There's dragons, a raven, these couple of these. Are there any of these heraldic icons interest you as the breastplate? Goat heads from the orc pack. Oh, okay. So you want something even spookier than the heraldic. Okay. Okay. Horns. Horns. I, I dig that. And I like the spookies. Well, it is like a dread knight kind of dread undead thing. So yeah. Let's go to orc. I dig it. I dig it. And we want it to look armorish so we can change. Which one? There's a couple. You're like, I don't give a poop. Just pick one. Oh, you mean this one right here? Number four? Not any of the other ones? Okay. Well, let's start with this one first. And just kind of see where it goes. Add that one. Let's let's change the saturation. Bring the brightness up. Change the shadow. Okay, we'll go down. Okay, and if that one doesn't look good, then we'll go to the next one. There's there's tons of options. I'm okay with that for for now. Let's just leave it there for now, and then we can move on to something else if it doesn't end up looking good. Like, maybe even add some red glowing, like, eyes in the front or something to kind of, like, we could put in, like, if my computer will let me do anything. <laughs> you can do it, computer! Okay, let's just add in some red orbs for now, just for some red eyes. We'll break up some of that gray. Just see how it looks and we can add in some light sources later yeah red and gray is a fairly decent color scheme in my mind so far the armor is coming together it's nine minutes after we're not doing too bad okay so now we have to make let's make a helmet a head oh this is going to be fun um let's try using maybe a skull i mean we've got this skull theme to it already so why not do that? Skull, oh skull. Uh oh, hmm, for some reason it's not popping up. That's bizarre. I wonder why that is. What's wrong with the search engine? Usually it will, or the search. Oh, pfft. What the, thank you for catching that. That's not embarrassing or anything. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, well that's not good. We don't want that. So uh, if that that's something that maybe we should look into, I think. Let's change the saturation. Yeah, I do kind of like this skull. Oh yeah, that's that's tripping me out. That that's scary. That's super scary. Okay, yeah, that's that's scary. Let's also like play around and maybe add in like some more sc more horn stuff by like putting this in the background like this so we can kind of get more well I kind of like it thinner better I guess I'm not sure it's a tough one just adding more horn to it you know I think I won't go with that. I'll remove it for now we'll come up with something later 
and we have to figure out i think we should add some stuff to the head instead of just you know having it be plain jane adding some fun stuff to it whether it's skulls or something coming out of the eyes or putting something on top of it like maybe a horn like the unicorn thing or whatever i'm not so sure we'll, we'll try putting some things together and just see how it goes could add like tusks to make add like more horn stuff coming out you could add like coming out like this maybe let me see here it's getting fun yeah let's fill in some of that negative space right there okay this kind of looks like some kind of weird tusk coming out of the mouth so i'm digging that um let's see here add in this spike could be in the top or not added at all could put a, a a crystal or something there like you could put like a gem to make it look like maybe the gem is what's activating the armor and you have to remove the gem from the head like there's that option there's all kinds of options Let's see a gen i don't know what a gen is i know what a gem is okay. maybe i can put one in here i maybe red would look better we are already got a little bit of red so maybe maybe go with it i don't know let's put it in here we could have a gem up here like this let me take a zoom back no don't care for that doesn't look good hmm gotta think about what things to kind of add to it um you know what i got some ideas let's let's go check out some of our pillar options or actually the cathedral let me go to cathedral real quick and i'm just going to go straight to it because or church or whatever it is what was it temple i think it's under temple let me take a look yeah here we go and we might want to add some stuff in the back part to make it look more interesting so i think i remember some large centerpieces like this let me just add it on here and we'll take a look okay change saturation change brightness okay there's just so many different options to go with okay like you could consider this like some kind of sun disc or a halo or you could put it down here like this or right here down here could be like do you like the halo idea sure i don't mind at all i'll, I'll do it kind of gives it kind of a a halo feel to it let's go up more like this there we go so it looks like it's right behind there we go i don't, don't want it to show where the neck part is just leave it in the back so it kind of has this nice halo to it or a sun disc i guess in egyptian mythology so we move those shadows yeah, we're getting there 14 15 minutes oh yeah we'll get it done okay so now we're going to want to add in the <clears throat> the next piece let me just take a look here and what our options are and how to put this together let's take the back one and i'm gonna have to think about the armor on this side so let's try going with a kind of like a dragon what's it called um dragon's quest i remember dragon's quest armor it's kind of got this this kind of looking armor like this there we go yeah and i think we can actually bring it down even more it would probably be the somewhere closer to around here maybe i think we'll drop the brightness down there we go okay it looks fine and then just some other ideas here that i have right about there copy paste another one because it's just there we go that looks a little bit better all right cool we want to fill out that chest just a little bit and then let's take a look step back yeah yeah i'm cool with that the, that weapon looks a little small i have to make it a little bit a little bit bigger and when i look at the hands it kind of looks a little bit small so let's boost it up about there looks much much better and I'm actually going to group all this stuff right now. Let's just group it. And we're going to scale it down a bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is like my favorite one so far. 
Though I really enjoyed that Undead Horse. That was so much fun. <laughs> the Undead Horse was pretty good. <sighs> yeah. Okay. All right. So last bits is some arms. There were some... We're going to put in some legs. And then I want to put in some kind of like... I don't know. Phantasmal like spirit something that kind of puts the armor together. So that I can do, we want to do that. First, let's go and put in the legs. And I'm just going to do them separate. Well, let's see here. And I don't mind using some of the same pieces for legs. It's okay. Like you want to keep somewhat repetition in the armor. So we'll do that. And then we'll add some other things on top of it so it doesn't look the same as those other ones. So first, let me just make one, one thigh piece. Let's add one thigh piece in. Let's put in the kind of kneecap piece like this. So you have a kneecap piece. And then I think we're going to need another one like this. Copy paste. It should be a bit smaller. The thigh is considerably bigger than the than your calves. Okay, like this. We're just getting the legs together. Okay, and then we're going to decorate it with some stuff so it doesn't look really plain. So we can put in spikes, blood, skulls, any of the above kind of works. Let's just kind of pick a skull kneecap. It'd be kind of nice. Like, ha 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 ha. A skull kneecap. That looks a little bright. So let's bring that down and remove that object shadow for now. Don't need that there. Let me just take a look how it's going so far. Let's increase the size of this one just a hair. Yeah, that looks good. So far, so good. Thigh here, right about there, I'd say. Okay. And let's add in some spikes as well, because those will look good. Spikes just make everything more intimidating. That's just that's just the way I see it, you know? So you got spikes on it, it's intimidating. Oh, let me check chat real quick if I missed anything. Nope, not miss anything in chat. Awesome, still so many people here. Awesome. Great. I haven't scheduled all the way yet. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yeah, I'm digging the spike stuff. Spike looks good. Add some there. And then we'll also add some here as well. Feet will be extremely difficult. <laughs> I'm sure we can figure it out. Okay. Uh, ooh, you know what? No, I'm going to have it going. I want the majority of the spikes to be kind of projecting up this way. There was another spike. Where'd it go? Oh, it just vanished. Oh, damn, there's that thing again. Not, not helpful. Okay. I forgot how time consuming making monster tokens are. <laughs> okay, let's take a step back. Hmm. Okay. So far, so good. Let's just go ahead and copy and paste all of these. I'm going to group it, bring it down a layer. And because, um, because this forearm is forward and this one is in the back, let's put the left leg going back. So that means that it will be darker. Okay. So let's do that. All of these just need to go down in brightness quite a bit. And then we're going to rotate them, of course, like this. Move all these. And of course, you should probably change all the spikes, move, re, remove or re-situate um, the spikes because you want them to be different. So we'll take all the spikes away from there and put them over to here, maybe. And then same thing with this one, put them all facing this way. And it's like a, always a nice little trick I've noticed with a lot of artists, some artists, is to show that something is in the foreground and the background. You're using 
light and dark. Okay, it's contrast. So the way that I made this arm look like it's in the back was dropping that shield's brightness. Same thing with this. It's in the background. Okay, so just like you made this arm in the front and this leg in the front, right? We can even do the same thing with this shield and even make this shield a bit darker just to show that it is indeed in kind of going back a bit because it's going it's curling up to hold it's curling up to hold up the weight of the axe right and we could even probably move some of it higher up to here maybe like this and let me grab um, the weapon as well and kind of move this further down because you want the hand when you're holding a really heavy arm like an axe where it's really heavy you're to keep the balance of the weapon when you're using it you want the one of the arm to be higher up on the pole arm so it's holding some of the weight of that weapon like you obviously wouldn't want to wield a weapon like this you'd want to wield it like this at least when you're holding it in a position just as kind of a heads up now let's go out a little bit more right about there we want to see that weapon going out okay so far so good we're almost done just seven more minutes we'll finish it off let's uh let's add in the uh the feet add in the feet copy paste like this and then also i think i'm probably going to have to change a bit of the width this one can be bright this one can be darker as you would expect okay let me take a step back and those feet are tiny this this dulahan just has really tiny feet that's just not good we don't we don't want tiny tiny feet dulahan we want big old feet dulahan <laughs> okay all right so now let's i'll add in more embellishment and stuff on uh the rest of it let's first go ahead and just start with kind of like the ectoplasm or whatever it is that's holding it together callum you got a you got a preference on color purple no i don't mind at all let's just add a path as always bring it up switch to purple and let's also add a purple glow to it so add purple to the blur i make it pop out quite a bit i think that looks good and let me put all of that a layer below let's take first get rid of this let's group everything group okay and then we'll go in it's on layer negative five put this we'll start with the first layer of it let's start with dropping the opacity down let's just kind of create like this oopsie it's a, that is the wrong layer my mistake go down one well, a couple there we go okay and let's just experiment and put a couple together first just to see how it looks i'm just going to start with some big one first kind of like connecting it all and we'll start with smaller ones and playing with blend modes Ooh, wow paths are running slow okay got a couple there here Right. kind of make it look like like ethereal ghostly tendrils or something is holding the whole thing together Ooh. okay okay that's the first part oh i might have to change the brightness too of those i'm not sure we'll see because those are darker Let's also switch it up to two now, get some smaller ones in there, make them really squiggly, make it look like, put them in overlaps, it looks like this kind of spirit looking material. Okay. And then we'll even add even smaller ones in there as well oopsie this thing is just going so slow okay oh 
almost there. A bit time consuming. Actually, I don't even think I should put any of it in there. Just only be for this part, I think. That would probably be best. Okay, we just got the light one. Uh, that looks good. Let's just bring it down, maybe even even some little tiny ones, just to kind of finish it up. And we also want to maybe consider putting the eyes in with the same kind of purple glow. Oop, too small. Let's go in with something bigger. I can fill in the sockets with some color. And we'll change the blend mode as well to these. Okay. All right. Normal. Let's check out dark and multiply. I'm going to go through the different blend modes. Whoa, that's trippy. I think I'm going to stick with that for now. And let's go over to light sources, purple. Uh, overlays fine. Let's change that color to that purple color we're looking for. Zoom in here. Oops, let's get it up. There we go. And let's go in. We want to add some eerie maybe glow coming out of the face. Uh, let's go back to normal so that I have one that's like Acting as like kind of like a pupil. Oh, that's the smallest that gets. Let's go with this one instead. There we go. Okay, let's take a step back. Mm -hmm. And then let's also put a light source over the whole thing. So that way we can kind of, or at least put them in the sections where that eerie kind of stuff is so we'll put it like there's some right here and we will change that blend mode to let's just go with overlay for now okay and then we'll place them on each section and it's going to also help them go stick help that glow stick out a lot more add some in the center Add one here, and then we'll add a large one. Oops, just missed one one right there. And then I'll add a big one. It's pretty much gonna cover the whole thing, and I'll change that blend mode as well. Nice and big, cover up that whole thing. There we go. And then we'll go over our blend modes. If you see one that you like, Callum, let me know. No, that's just way too much. Overlay. No, I don't want it to be so overlay. Oh, you like that? You like that? Okay. That's where it is then. And the last thing. Oh, no problem. And the last thing is to maybe attach a shield, a large shield to uh, maybe it's uh, somewhere maybe in the back, maybe a really large one. Maybe that may be the last thing to add. It's just a really big shield. Yeah, probably. Well, it's living armor. <laughs> See exhibit A. <laughs> well, we also don't want it to like take up too much too. That's the problem. So we have to be careful with it. Let me just see how big the shield is. If it takes up too much room or it doesn't look interesting, then we'll just remove it. It's at 500 already. I would expect it to have a big shield in the back, but let me just take a look. Mm. Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think we'll just remove it. 
Ah, well, now that I now I see it without it, it actually looks okay with it. <laughs> All right, well, let's group it because we are at 31. So I'm just going to go ahead and group. And we were able to put four of them together in two and a half hours. Not bad. <laughs> and I'll make sure to label all of them and make sure to mention who made them too. Okay, let me ungroup everything and kind of just move things around. What is this? Oh, that's a light source there. What is this? Just random spikes hanging out. <laughs> okay, living armor. And I'll make sure to put all the users' names on there as well. Let's just go ahead and scale them down so I can fit them all in one space. Okay, and I want to put them in order that they were made as well. I'm going to go over here. All right, sweet. Monster tokens, yeah. All right. Whew. That took, that was so much harder than I anticipated. And I loved every minute of it. I don't know, let's add a filter too, just for fun. I'm gonna add cold warm and then, all, or actually the, the clarity is a good one as well. Add cold warm. And then I'll add in just a couple more artifacts to blend it in. Okay, one more. Uh, I love using this one and then we'll call it good. parchment world this one overlay there we go okay let me just take a look at it make sure it didn't ruin anything no it looks okay let me add in a little bit more overlay to it mm -hmm. okay and is everything at the right layer yeah I think so okay well I'll label these after the stream I think that's it. If anybody, I'll just go ahead and stop recording so that people can chat if they want.